In this video, we are going to see how to auto-generate document summary using OpenAI. So let's say that you have got some content on your Google Sheet like a paragraph and you want that it should be summarized and then saved to Google document after creation of a new document. Now how can you do that? For this, you will have to integrate the three applications, Google Sheets with OpenAI and Google Document. And the same can be done using Public Connect software. Here, your trigger application would be Google Sheet, your action applications would be OpenAI and Google Docs. Now, how can you do this yourself, integrate and automate this entire process to understand that? Let me take you to my screen. To begin with the video, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that, it will take us to the landing page of this software. Now here on the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. Sign in if you already are a user and just sign up. It won't take more than two minutes if you do not have an account with us. Remember that at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now since I already am a user here, I'm going to click on sign. Here we have reached the All Apps page. Let's click on Access Now for Pabli Connect. Once done, we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab, Create Workflow. Let's click on this. And a dialog box has appeared which is asking us to name this workflow. Now my objective is that I have got some titles along with some paragraphs on my Google Sheets. So I want to summarize them with the help of OpenAI application. So I'm going to name it as Google Sheets, OpenAI, and then I want to save it on Google Doc. So this is my integration. These are the three steps. Let's click on Create. So once done, now my trigger application here would be here we have reached another window which has got two very important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. Basically, action is the response of what happens here in trigger. So here my trigger application would be Google Sheets. Let's click on this. Now the trigger event is the event that will make this workflow start. This will be new or updated spreadsheet row. Now here you have received a webhook URL which is going to act as a bridge in connecting Pabli Connect and Google Sheets. I'm going to copy this and now I'm going to show you how you can connect. So this is my Google Sheet and here in order to connect this with Pabli Connect, I'm going to go to extensions and then go to add-ons and then get add-ons. As soon as I do that, here we have reached Google Workspace Marketplace. Here, we are supposed to look for the application Pabli Connect Webhooks. Let's click on this. You can see that it has already been installed on my system. If it is not there installed on your system, please do that. Again, it will not take more than two minutes. Once done, close this. And now again, when you click on extensions, you would be able to find Pabli Connect Webhooks here. Then go to initial setup. Always remember the send on event should be checked. So initial setup. Once we are here, you can see that it has automatically captured the name of the sheet. Now I'm going to delete this and paste the webhook URL that we have copied. And then the trigger column. The trigger column is the final data column. On So this is B column for us. It has already been captured here. Let's click on send test. As soon as we do that here, you can see that the test data has been sent successfully. Now I'm going to click on submit to receive the API response. Once done, let's go back to Pabli Connect and here you can see that the API response has been received. Paragraph title, content, the name of the spreadsheet, ID, etc. My next objective is that I'm going to create the summary of this. So. OpenAI is the application. Let's click on this. Action event would be generate content. Click on connect. Now here Pabli Connect is again asking to connect itself with the OpenAI account. So I'm going to click on add new connection and here we need a token to set up this connection. Let's go to OpenAI API keys page. So this is the hyperlink to receive the token. I've already logged into my OpenAI account. So let's click on this hyperlink. And here you can see that this is the API key. I'm going to copy this, go back to Pabli Connect and paste it over here and save. 
to set up this connection. So once done, here you can see it is asking me for the AI model, prompt, maximum token, sampling type, etc. So to understand this, I'm going to take you to my OpenAI website. So this is the website. You can reach here by writing openai.com and then you have to go to API. Here, this is an extremely intelligent and very interesting application where you can create powerful models and this definitely helps you a lot in content creation. So I'm going to log in. Once logged in, here we have reached the dashboard. You can see certain tutorials and examples to understand the application better. We have to go to playground. Once we are here, I'm going to show you some magic. Write the summary of the paragraph. Okay, and here we have the paragraph. So, so this is our paragraph. This is the title. Now, I have given it an instruction, write the summary of the paragraph and I'm going to click on submit. As soon as we have done that here, you can see that it has provided us a two line summary for this entire paragraph. This can definitely save a lot of time. And now I'm going to throw some light on the settings. Here we can see we have got different modes and then we have the model. Here we have selected text C 2 why because this is the most capable model in the GPT-3 series. Once that is done, we have temperature. Temperature controls randomness. So if you select zero, it means that your content will be repetitive. And if you go towards one, it will be random. So 0 0.7 is the default value. Then we have the maximum length. Now, even if I have to write a summary or a blog or a reply to the comments, you have to select the length of your content. Basically, it can be anywhere from 0 to 4000. Then we have the stop sequence. This is very important as once you have applied this, the API will stop generating further tokens. Let me write it as double backslash double hashtag. So you can create your own. Once this is done, then we have top P, then we have frequency penalty, which decreases the model's likelihood to repeat the same line. And presence penalty, it increases the model's likelihood to talk about new topics. Again, this can go from zero to one. So let me make it one over here. Then the best of, again here you can generate multiple com completion server side and it only displays the best so you can go from 0 to 10 and here i'm going for 3 best of 3 now once this is done i'm also going to show you this view code where you will understand what is prompt because this will be asked later prompt is anything that you write before you click on submit so now here our prompt will be this entire thing once we have understood this, now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and map this data. Mapping means that we have this information already. We are just going to retrieve it here. So the AI model has already been selected. Now the prompt here. So let me say that I want to write a summary of the paragraph, right? I'm going to give the title. Then I'm going to click enter. Again, I'm going to go here and click on content. So this is the paragraph and I wish to have a summary for this, right? So once this is done, maximum token. So let me make it 150. Now, once that is done here, we have to select the sampling type. So we have selected temperature sampling. We had two options here, temperature sampling and nucleus sampling. And then as we come down the sampling value. So there is a default value 0 0.7 you wish you can always change it i'm going to let it be 0 0.7 once this is done the presence penalty so it can be anywhere between 0 and 1 i'm going to make it 1 and then the stop sequence is double backslash double hashtag then we have the best of so we have chosen three and now i'm going to click on save and send test request so as soon as we do that, here we can see that we have received our summary. So this is our summary for around 150 words. Once this is done, now what do we want? That this summary along with the paragraph should now be a part of our Google document. So I'm going to select my next application as Google Docs. And now first I'll have to create a document. So I'm going to click on create a blank document and click on connect. Here, Public Connect is asking to connect itself with the Google Docs account. So let's click on add new connection and connect with Google Docs. Once this is done, I'm going to choose the account. 
and then click on continue to provide it the access and here you can see that the authorization has been successful so once this is done let's come down and here we have to map the document name here i wish to create a document with the same name as that of my paragraph so i'm going to click on this go to step one and select this title let's click on save and send test request so once this is done here you can see that we have got our document created so i'm going to go here and i'm going to show you the document that we have just created and here it is importance of water conservation now i'm going to go back to public connect so here we have received the response and if i take you down here we have also received the document id this is very important so that we can later map this now i'm going to add another action step and here i'm going to choose the same application google docs and this time the event here is to append a paragraph to a document let's click on this click on connect as soon as this is done i'm going to click on save to go with the existing connection and here we have the document again i'm going to first toggle this towards right so that i can map the information i'm going to delete this and then here i'm going to go to the third step and look for the document id so here it is let's click on this once done now what is the text that you wish to get inserted here so first i wish to add the title so i'm going to go here and then i wish to add the summary that i've just received and here is the summary so once this is done let's click on save and send test request and here you can see i'm going to take you to my google docs again i'm going to first refresh this page go to this document and here you can see that i have got the title and i have got the summary as well this basically means that this entire integration process is a success but now we also have to check it in real time so let's go back to our google sheet which is here and now i'm going to cross so here we have added another paragraph title and the content and now what do i want as soon as this is a part of the sheet what should happen automatically summary should be created and then the summary along with the title should become a part of the google document let's check our google document so here you can see that success and hard work with this topic a document has been created here we have the summary which basically means that this entire integration process is a complete success now i'm going to take you back to public connect and understand the entire process what we have done so that you have a clear, clear understanding of the same so here our trigger application was google sheets where we had different titles along with the paragraphs and the event that we had chosen was new or updated spreadsheet row then our next action application was open ai where we had generated content in the form of a summary then the next action application was google docs first we had created a blank document and then we had appended the value the basically the paragraph to the document and that is it i hope this is very much clear to you if in case you have any doubt you can refer to the same workflow it is given in the description box also you can copy the same clone the same and start to process immediately apart from this if you have any other advice or suggestion you can always write to us i hope this was helpful to watch more such videos you can always subscribe to our channel which is there on youtube if you have any queries you can write to us at forum.pavli.com and if you want to know our pricing plans then you can visit us at this particular site do not forget to like share and subscribe if you have liked this video